Hello and welcome to our Taylor's Digital Open Day live chat. My name is Daniel and I will be your host for today. And today we actually have a couple of students as our guests. So Taylor's University has a department called the Life Skills. And these are students from the Life Skills modules. So we'll be talking a little bit about the Life Skills life in Taylor's here. All right, so could you introduce yourselves? Oh, hi, my name is Kenzie and I'm a year three software engineering student. My name is Kat and I'm a year two IBM student, international business and marketing. All right, cool. So we're going to talk a little bit about your experiences as students uh, um, being in undergoing life skills as uh, most of our audiences are students who are potentially thinking about joining us here in Taylor's. So if you have any questions that you'd like to ask them, feel free to send them over and we will, ask, we will answer them for you live. And yes. if you've decided that you want to talk to a counsellor, you can as well come over to our website and talk to our um, counsellors online or you can also have a virtual campus tour on our website as well. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so what are the most important things that you guys have around with you everywhere you go? Everywhere? Oh, uh, I think as a um, computing student, laptops are pretty important. So as a student in computing, laptops, uh, if you need a mouse, if you need speakers for some reason. Speakers? But laptops, <laughs> laptops are important. Speakers yeah. for some reason. For some reason. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, for me, it would be more or less technical. I carry a journal everywhere, so oh. because I like get like organized and just to you know spill down memories and thoughts in the book. Oh, okay, yeah. interesting. Thank you guys for sharing those a little tidbit. <laughs> all right, so the next question is now going to be about life skills. All right, so dun, dun, dun. what is your opinion about life skills being actually a core module here in university on a on a tertiary education level? Mm. What is your opinion about having life skills? I think life skills for me it's more of um, when you come into university all you think about is like you getting all the knowledge that you need for your course but life mm. skills is more of like your soft skills getting developed so you learn more about yourself you learn more about the awareness of your environment how you control your emotions things like that so I think it's more important to to be in a balance of both yeah. to have your hard skills your soft skills everything like that so it's really it's in my opinion, it's, it's a very interesting module to have. For me, um, what, what Kenzie said was all true, but I feel like the reason why it's very important to have it as a core module is because that all courses, no matter whether you're studying medicine or business or, or uh, software engineering, you have to go through it. Mm -hmm. Because we know that soft skills is not learned through like, your degree, but like, everyone needs to have it regardless of your course. Yeah, that's why I feel it's very important. Okay, true. Our next question here is, uh, what was your first impression actually when you heard that Taylor's Uni has a life skills as a core module? Uh, um, you can be honest, what was your first impression <laughs> of hearing such a thing? Because since it's not, you know, uh, a common practice. Yeah. Um, um, honestly, it's like confusion for a while. Uh, <laughs> uh, as most of you probably don't know, but I was like the first batch of people to have life skills. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so it's more of you didn't know who to go to because you didn't have seniors that said, oh, mm. I took this oh. as a, as yeah. a module. So it's more of, oh, I'm going to go into this first. I'm going to be the first batch. Mm. I'm going to be the first class that's going to go through it. But uh, all, throughout, all throughout the um, module, it was very fun. It was a very impactful, very intimate session with everyone. So from my first, from my first impression towards like, the end, it was really, really amazing. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So my first opinion was also um, confusion <laughs> because I was from... Um, uh, a secondary school, a public secondary school. Mm -hmm. So we also had this thing in Malay. It's called uh, Kemarian Hido. Uh -huh. So it directly translate to life skills in from Malay. Uh -huh. So we always thought that it was uh, like my friends and I thought it was like that. Yeah. So we thought that like, we'd be going around <laughs> cutting wood and stuff like that. Oh. Yeah, but uh, after going through it, it was totally different from that. And like I said, I think it's very necessary for us to have it. All right. Nice. Thanks, you guys. Um, for those of you who have just logged in, just a friendly reminder. Welcome to our Taylor's Digital Open Day live chat. If you have any questions that you would like to ask these two beautiful people, feel free to send them over and we will <laughs> answer them for you live right here at this live chat. And if you wish to speak to our counsellors, feel free to come over to our website and you can have a chat with our counsellors and maybe even have a virtual campus tour on our website as well. All right. So we actually have a question from the audiences. Thank you guys so much. Please keep them coming and we'll answer them along the way. Alright, so our first question is from James. 
And James asks, why did you choose Taylor's University? Or Taylor's, yeah. So perhaps you guys could, um, yeah. Interesting, very interesting. I think um, Taylor's me, it was more of the environment. I think it's the campus, it's the student life. All of these things you don't see in uh, brochures, pamphlets, things like that. Yeah. But once you come here, once you go to their open day, you feel a sense of familiarity with uh, the students, with like having a lake in the middle of the campus, you know? Things like this, it's just like, it felt homey to me. Yeah. It didn't feel as packed. So sort of serene. Yeah, yeah. It was serene. very interesting to see a campus like this in Malaysia. So it was quite an easy choice for me to come to Taylor's. Oh, okay. Mm. Interesting. For, for me, it would be the things that you get that is not um, degree related, like you know the life skills. Mm -hmm. The I think the previous session we had uh, Marika talking the maker space. So it's all these um, other soft skills and innovative things that you don't get in other universities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that made me like join tears. All right, thank yeah. you guys so much for sharing. <laughs> and if you have any more questions, feel free to send them over. True. All right. Now going on to the next segment. Our next question is actually. Can you guys walk us through a typical life skills class experience? So for, the, for those who are watching who are, who are not Taylor students yet, maybe, hopefully, then maybe you could tell them what can they expect if they were to, when, when they actually go through life skills, if they decide to join us. So can you run us over a, a, through a typical class experience here in life skills? So what you should expect in life skills is to not expect anything because you don't know what's going to happen. Uh, so you come in these classrooms and usually the, the classroom setting is we have chairs that doesn't, we don't have a table, like we don't have a set table, it's just chairs with um, wheels and then, and when you enter, like for example, the life skills, well -be success and well-being class, when you enter, um, the, the facilitator will turn off the lights and then he will ask you to conduct a mindfulness session whereby you will just close your eyes and meditate and then he will ask you to listen to the sound of the aircon, your breathing and stuff like that. Then we'll proceed with how the class is and it really depends on how the, what the activity is that you're going to do. Sometimes it'll be outside of class, sometimes it'll be inside, everyone has to get up and play games. It really, you can't really expect what's going to happen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Would you say that she took all of your answers? <laughs> pretty much, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> it was, it, it's, it's very different from what you would expect it to be. Mm. Not expecting anything is basically the right answer to yeah, go through yeah. this. Yeah, you, you don't know what's going to happen and when you go through it, it's like, whoa, what was that? You know, it was so, it was, it was so intimate, you know, but mm. at the same time, what an what a environment for everyone to be in, yeah. Mm. Alright, cool. Thank you guys so much. I think it's really important that we have our students here to give you guys a perspective, a student perspective, mm. especially since you guys are potential Taylor students and thinking about joining and what can you expect. So we're really happy to, to have you guys here and give them what, what uh, relevant answers that they can look forward to. Alright, so for our next question is actually, how do you find the teaching approach here in Life Skills? Or, and what do you like most about it, the teaching approach that's conducted in Life Skills and here in Taylor's? So I feel that in Life Skills, um, you don't call the lecturers lecturers, they are like facilitators. And what that I really like about it is that they make you feel very inclusive. So it's not like they will stand and then you all sit down. So sometimes they will sit with us, it will be a circle. So be very inclusive. And you can just talk to them like you're, you're, you know, you're friends, like you're mm. bros with yeah. them and mm. stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So to, to add on to the inclusiveness is more of, uh, you don't feel like the lecturer or like facilitator is just there standing, asking you questions. Mm. What do you think this is? Why, why do you think this is happening? Mm. It's more of like, uh, a discussion among everybody. Yeah. It's like it makes people feel as if uh, they're part of the discussion, even though they're not saying anything. Uh, it's not. It's not a space for you to be like. You have to be shy. You have to be scared. But mm. it's a space for you to understand yourself more, mm. to be aware of yeah. uh, what you're feeling at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's that's like the most important thing about life skills that we've learned. Yeah. Right, cool. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. That was really insightful. <laughs> All right, just a gentle reminder. If you've just logged in, welcome again to our Taylor's Digital Open Day Live Chat, where we are talking about the Life Skills Department from actual Life Skills students. So if you've just come on, feel free to ask any of your questions, and we will answer them for you live right here in front of you. 
And if you want to talk to our, any, of, any one of our counselors, feel free to come over to our website. You can talk to our counselors and even have a virtual campus tour. So head on over to our website if you want those things. And stay on over and give us your questions as we go over the life skills department. All right, so how do you, uh, our next question here is, what are some specific instances where you have seen yourself actually grow as a result from undergoing um, the life skills modules here in Taylor's University? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. You can go first. Yeah, so it can be um, anything. that's just one uh, module that we learned under life skills, success and well-being where we had to write our own core purpose statement, which I feel a lot of us don't really think about it. It's like, um, so it's, it's um, like, why, what do you want to do for, with your life? Like, why do you, uh. like, do, no, no existential existential crisis <laughs> but it's like what you want to do with your life then we learn what we're passionate about and how we're gonna go through with it mm -hmm. so I think a lot of us didn't really think of that you know because we always think like after we study then then it's off to work and that's it then our passion just dies mm -hmm. so when we wrote our core purpose statement then only I realized like oh this is what I really want to do so for example it was um, what I like is to share my stories around like the world to motivate people and because of that I could take action I joined like clubs and societies and events that cater to that skill to enhance it to make sure that I'm going the right path mm. yeah so I feel it's very important for students to find out to you know find out what they really want then they can you know work, work towards it mm. yeah Cool, thank you so much, Kath. Right, Kenzie, is there any specific instance where you've seen yourself actually grow as a result of undertaking, undergoing the life skills modules here in Taylor's? It could be anything that, right. that you see yourself have improved, actually. Yeah. Mm. I think it's more of, uh, for me, it's like communicating with people. Like mm. the communication mm. where, uh, in life skills, you learn like, uh, what are your pros and cons. We, we get to do this thing where we do the MBTI test, yeah. where we ah. get a personality test. And from there, you, you know how you would communicate with other people through uh, maybe uh, they will be more timid to some things, maybe they will be more shy, maybe they will be more uh, vocal, things like that. So you know when to control yourself, when to yeah. tell people what to do. Yeah. So it's like open voice, th those kinds of stuff. And uh, those instances is where like, you grow as a person, you learn to go more into what you like. Uh, like as Kat said, like, w what she mm -hmm. liked, she went into. It, you don't, it's not, it's not about how you feel, it's not about how you feel when you, you want to do something, it's about what you, what is right for you as a student yeah. or as a person to go into. So I feel like instances like this really make you grow as a person in life skills. Alright, thank you guys so much for sharing. And actually, we actually finally have a question from the audience. Thank yeah. you guys so much if you are watching this. Please feel free to give us your questions and because that's what this is for. Yeah. If you have any questions, that's what we are meant to do and answer them for you live here to clear any doubts that you might have regarding life skills or even them personally on, on, on a personal level. So free, please feel free to give them over. Alright, so ah, this question is from Abby Chan. Abby, thank you guys. Thank, thank you, Abby, so much for coming again. Um, Abby was our, our viewer from the previous segments and she actually gave us questions and now she's back again. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that and uh, let's answer her question. She says, hello there. How are you graded for this class? Oh, that's a very good question. I can't Whoa. imagine <laughs> being conventionally graded in a life skills class. Yeah, that's a very good question, Abby. Thank you so much for asking. Yeah. So yeah, how are um, life skills students actually graded here in the life skills class? Oh, grades come, it's not about how well you do in the class, but at the end of the session, not a session, sorry, at the end of the whole program, we get to do this thing where we do a reflection, right? Yeah. Oh. So you get a journal for everybody and mm. you get to do this reflection where you write about what you've learned, uh, how much you've overcome about yourself, uh, everything that you've done in order to succeed in uh, building your own self. Mm. So. Reflections is basically how they grade you, but I don't think grades are as important in this class because mm -hmm. it's about the skills that you develop that we've said before. So the skills that you develop really go a long way rather than your A's, your B's, your C's, your CGPA's, you know. Life skills is just the soft skills that you learn to develop after, it's just a basis, it's just a base of like uh, what you can have and from there, you determine what you want and how you're going to grow with it. Mm. It's like a self-discovery mm -hmm. 
platform for you. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, cool. Thank you guys so much for sharing. We actually have another question from the audience. Thank you so much. Keep them coming. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this question um, is from a William Kung. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, uh, William Kung. Alright, so he says... Oh, this is directed to Kath. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Alama Kathlia, could Life Skills help the, help the Taylor's alumni? And if so, what kind of support is available for them? Do you know William? Yes, I know William. Oh, oh, oh is he? It was the it's previous, William from Yeah, okay. from the previous session. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. So, William, thank you for joining us after being a part of our previous segment. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I guess I'd like to take a jab at you. Okay. So, what, how could Life Skills help the Taylor's alumni? And if so, what kind of support is available for them? Um, I guess for Taylor's alumni, because you, we know that Life Skills exists and it's a platform for you know, to learn soft skills. So I feel that if Taylor's alumni um, knows any companies or any enterprises that can um, help out with soft skills or like facilitating or workshops, I think you can collaborate with Life Skills and Taylor's. We, they would be more than happy to train the students regarding this. Yeah. Cool, thank you so much. We have another question from the audience. This one is from Marcus Lim. Do you, do you, is that anyone? No? Okay, okay. <laughs> well, thank you, Marcus. <laughs> Well, we really hope more questions can come from the audience because that's what we're here for. So please feel free, don't be shy. Uh, in fact, you can even let me know if you want to not say your name and I'll say it anonymously. You know, it's no problem, mm -hmm. okay? So Marcus Lim asks, how do you decide what curricular activities to join while you are in your first year? Okay, so this is going a little bit into your extracurriculars mm -hmm. after class. So do you guys have any insights to answer his question, which is, once again, how do you decide what curricular activities to join while you are in your first year? Mm, orientations are a big thing, right? Mm -hmm. So as a new student here, uh, orientations are where you go through three days of your orientation, you go through uh, everything you have to learn about tailors, this and that, this and that. Then there's just gonna, there's gonna be one day where it's gonna be clubs and societies, right? Mm. And clubs and societies is where you, you go through the grand hall and there'll be booths of clubs and societies and student bodies that will tell you more about what they do, uh, what they do here in Taylor's, what they want to achieve, uh, all the activities that they do. So it's not about uh, the more you join, the better, but yeah. what you like to join, mm -hmm. what you want to improve. Like say, when I was in high school, I didn't have um, dodgeball, for example. Mm -hmm. okay? So coming here, there's Storm Dodgeball Club. You know, I can join that. Or, coming, or maybe in high school, I didn't have student council. And coming here, I have student council. It's, it's, it kind of really, uh, meshes up with uh, life skills too because you can develop your soft skills through that. There will be a lot of clubs like uh, Toastmasters, uh, there will be student bodies like uh, student councils as, as I said before. Or if you really want to be a part of the whole orientation, there's orientation leaders for you too. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know? So even though your orientation is going to be e-orientation for this time around, it will still be handled by the orientation leaders and you can still go through your clubs and societies which may be postponed but these uh, clubs and societies day is a good way of interacting yeah. and getting to know more about the student bodies clubs and societies here in Taylor's. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. I'd like to add on to that. Yeah. So yeah. because do. of this um, um, e-orientation and everything, you can always go to um, Facebook and search up for like Taylor's Dance Club. You can also go to our website, all our clubs are there and the link to the, their Facebook pages will be there, so you just go there. Then you can just text any clubs, usually we'll respond as soon as possible yeah. to find out more about it. Yeah. yeah. So if you're a first year, go for it, don't hesitate. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, because you, every time when you go, you can always learn from it and then you can, you know, try and error, it's really fine. Yeah, your life in Taylor's is not just about studies. No. Yeah, yeah. Everything is, you have to be balanced. That, that's the most important thing, you have to be balanced. Mm -hmm. yeah. right, true, very insightful. Thank you guys. Thank All right, you. so, uh, before we move on to the next question, I just want to have a quick reminder for those of you who have just logged in, welcome to our Taylor's Digital Open Day live chat where we are talking to actual students who have gone through the life skills modules. So if you have any questions, please feel free to send them over and we'll answer them for you live right in front of you. And as Kath has mentioned, our website. So if you wish to talk to any one of our counsellors, please feel free to head on over to our website talk to counsellors and even have a virtual campus tour from the safety of your own home So if you'd like to see what the campus is like. Alright, so our next question here is going back to life skills. Okay. So the question is, what is something you really enjoy or are really grateful for to experience from the life skills here in Taylor's? 
So something that you really enjoy or are really grateful from undergoing life skills mm, here? One, one, the thing that I really was grateful for is that my, is my relationship with the facilitators, with the students. So when during our life skills class, we actually built a real bond. So it wasn't like, oh, like, oh, we have to do this assignment, that assignment. It was more of like, you know, you come down and you talk out your thoughts and a discussion and stuff like that. So that's where we actually make like real bonds and with the facilitators and also um, my classmates. And even to this day, like I still go out for breakfast with them, with my facilitators, <laughs> with my students. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I really cherished about the life skills class. Yeah. Okay. Actually, that, that's really true. Really. <laughs> <laughs> when you're in high school and you're like, oh, hi sir, hi ma'am. Yeah, and yeah. And you're just like shy towards that. And then when you go, you're like, you're crazy with your friends. Here it's like, oh, you see your facilitators and you're like, oh, hey, want to drink coffee today? You know? And then it's yeah. like, they're like, yeah, sure. Then you guys go here with breakfast, lunch, dinner. It doesn't matter. It's like, you guys are friends. It, the age gap isn't a thing. Mm. You know, it's like the bonds you make. Yeah, that, that's very, very true. All right, cool. Thank you guys so much. In fact, earlier you mentioned that you were the first batch of students for life skills. Yeah. And what you have? Uh, second. Second, second yeah, batch, second. yeah. Oh, okay, interesting. Well, we're glad that we have both of you to give diverse answers and give mm -hmm. um, what life skills is like from the first batch to second batch. All right, so moving on to our next question. Uh, we actually have another one from the audience. Thank you guys so much. If you have any other questions, please feel free to send them over and we'll answer live for you. All right, so this question is from Matthias Rin. I hope I'm pronouncing your, right, your, your name right, Matthias Rin. All right, so this question is, hello, I want to... Why are you smiling? Do you know this Matthias person? Yeah, I, uh, unfortunately. Uh, unfor <laughs> unfortunately, um, Matthias, uh, I don't know what, what you heard. Okay, so he says, hello, I want to learn more about life skills. Is there any online material for you to recommend for me to read? So is there any online material that you guys can recommend for our fellow audience, Matthias, for him to read in regarding um, life skills? Mm. Yeah, I want to learn more about life skills. Actually, a lot of things that we learn in life skills are uh, resources or like research that's already um, endorsed and published. So, um, uh, like for example, the MBTI 16 personality, you can just actually Google MBTI 16 personality. You take the quiz and you go through all the results and everything. Mm -hmm. And we also have like few models like the Thomas Kilman models and everything. So, um, perhaps uh, Matthias, if you really want me to show you the link, I can just send you all the things that we learned and just brief you about it. Perhaps we can even um, like post it uh, in our Taylor's page or something for people who are interested. Mm, okay. Yeah. Uh, I think the first thing you have to go to, maybe you can learn more about mindfulness. Yeah. Uh, mindfulness. Um, y it, there's there's a lot a lot of uh, strategies maybe mm. that you can you can go through with mindfulness. You can even Google search it. Then they can teach you how to. There are YouTube videos of it. Um, it's it, it's important to know how to do it. Yeah. So I think I think for me it's like mindfulness. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We have another question here, and this question is. Um, are life skills opportunities open to people outside the study program, like staff and other students? So I think this is a really good question because um, I personally never went through life skills. So, oh. so actually hearing all your answers makes me feel a little bit uh, like I've missed out a little bit. Oh. But uh, yeah, is there... Yeah. Uh, wow, <laughs> thank, you, thank you Kenzie for letting me know. <laughs> but yeah, are there any opportunities for people like me, people who are like staff and other students who want to maybe experience a little bit life of life skills. So are there any opportunities outside so, of the study program? So sometimes life skills, um, they are under the life skills department, um, not perhaps not our class, but sometimes mm. we conduct classes like yoga classes, mindfulness classes, and this will be posted up in our Taylor's page. So that um, staff and other like alumni students and like anyone around campus can just come and enter. Yeah. So, I mean, you won't learn everything that we did in one day, in one, that one session, mm -hmm. but like you said, perhaps it can give you a glimpse of how life skills is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, as, uh, as Taylor students, we have a portal, a portal that we can go to. So the portal always has news and announcements that we can, that mm -hmm. we can see. Uh, there are always announcements where, uh, like Kat said, there's uh, yoga days and stuff like that. So joining that is very, it, joining that would give you an insight. Yeah. yeah, and also more of uh, you get to know the people that will be joining with you, and you get to form a bond there too. Yeah. yeah. Right. Cool. We're actually almost done with our session, so we're gonna have a wrap up question and just answer this question as brief as you can. 
Um, unfortunately, we are nearing our segment, but hang in there. Um, our last question basically is what advice that you would give to a new student or someone thinking of joining Taylor's as, as that is our audience's. Ooh. Yes. So any quick, Ooh. brief answers that you can give before we wrap up? Uh, any quick advice? Advices. Okay. Give to someone. For Taylor's, for new students, let's see. It's, it's, good, like, uh, it's good to think of Taylor's like a life skills class, to go in without any expectations. Oh. And oh. with that being said, it's, more of, it's not that you shouldn't have high expectations for Taylor's, it's more of what you can expect here and what you can feel, what you can live with, what you can learn is nothing like what you think mm. because there's so much more yeah. between the lines. Mm. Yeah. There is, uh, as we said before, the bonds, uh, the classes, the course, the life, the clubs, the societies. Mm. The, the list is endless. But from there, you feel, you feel so happy going back home and you feel like you want to go to Taylor's every day. If Saturday, Sunday, you, you have classes, you want to come here, you want to be with your friends, you want to go to that mamak that you love so much, you know, the food areas you love, you want to play frisbee every day, you want to see the lake every day. It makes you feel very homey, as I said yeah. before, yeah. Taylor's, it's, yeah, advices is just not to, not to have expectations. Okay. Mm -hmm. any quick uh, advice? Uh, basically, um, I, I, I just have to say what Kenzie said. It's, uh, any advice for you is that I feel that like Taylor's, it's just a, a statement, I feel that like Taylor's is, you won't view Taylor's as an educational institution, it will be like a part of your life. So yeah, come join Taylor's. I don't know why you're asking this question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once you go through everything that's on the Open Digital Day, then you can ask like, any questions that you're unsure of, and then we can just brief you about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Well, we have come to the end of our segment. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, throughout. Uh, for those of you who have just logged in, this is our Taylor's Digital Open Day live chat. We have come to the end of the segment, but not to worry because we will actually have another Taylor's Digital Open Day live chat tomorrow. So please stick around and um, you know, watch out for us tomorrow as we go through more segments and more topics to go over. And first off, I would like to say thank you, Kath. Thank you, Kenzie, for sharing thank us you, your Daniel. student experiences with our fellow audiences. Thank you okay. so much. Thank you, guys. Thanks for joining. All right, thank you, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.